What's up you guys, Justin Rivas here. Tonight we are talking about budget LED lights. It's amazing these days what you can get for the price and people have been asking me about my lighting setup and what I'm using so I'm happy to share everything that I've found in using LED lights, a couple of different options. I'll show you what I'm using, give you maybe some even more budget options. But for me, I'm not making thousands and thousands and thousand dollars off YouTube. I don't need a crazy lighting setup. And even for some professional work where I've shot interviews and done different things, I found that these lights work great. Now, this is an Aperture Amaran AL528. I have three of them. There's one up there, one up there, and the other one I'm using right here. Uh, what can I tell you about these lights? They are 528 LEDs, hence the AL528. Uh, they're, you know, not that big. And what I really, really like about LED lights, a couple of things. One, they require almost, you know, no heat. Require, they emit almost no heat, which is super handy. And they're really small and compact and portable and easy to set up. Not only that, I don't know if you can see here, but they run off batteries. And that part is really, really nice. They're variable, so they go from... 10% all the way up to 100%, you plug them in, you're gonna get even more juice out of them. They take these standard Sony batteries, which these ones are NPF 970s. You can get even like smaller ones if you don't want you know, so much weight, but these last for hours. Hours when you got a couple of the big guys. I haven't tried the small ones to see how long they last, but they are also excellent. These lights are only, I think right now about $178, about 180 bucks. And when you buy them in a kit, which you can get, where I bought three lights, three stands, three sets of batteries, and three chargers, it was like 600 bucks. Or if maybe you only need two lights, there's another good kit there for around $400. And I think that's tremendous value. Now, depending where you're at, that may be a lot of money. And I think there are cheaper options with CFL bulbs, but the portability where you get this nice little bag, you can put it in with the power cord and the batteries in there, grab a few stands, and you're set up and ready to go pretty quick. I think that's pretty neat. The other nice thing about these lights, like it's a reasonable amount of surface area. Like the bigger your light source is, you know, the more diffused and natural your light looks. But for what we're doing, I'm doing, maybe not you, you might have different needs. It seems to work well. With these kits, watch, there's the AL528S and W. When it says S on the back, this one has an S on the back. I don't know if you can see that. This is a spotlight. That means that the beam's gonna be a lot narrower. Whereas the one that I'm shooting with up there, that's a W for a wide light. And that's gonna spread out the light a little bit more. Depending what you're doing, you can pick, you know, build a kit that matches your needs. Mine, I think I have two spotlights and a wide light. That works good for, you know, a range of situations. If you can only afford one light, I would say get a wide light because then you can you know, potentially put two people in the shot lit with one light if you have to do that. Or it's just gonna give you a little bit more of a big natural light. Whereas when you get into maybe even two light setup like I'm doing here, I've got the wide light on my face so it's trying to cast light across my face and across my body in a few different areas. And I'm using the spotlight in the background to just try and hit the back of my head as a hair light and separate me from the background. If you've got a three light setup, then I would say what I will typically do is have a spotlight, spotlight, and then you can balance the amount of light off the face. So you're building kind of shadows, one side of the face a little bit darker than the other. And then in the background, I'm using a wide light to try and kind of light up my whole back so I'm jumping out from the background. That would be the way I'd recommend probably setting it up. But if you can only get two S's or, you know, two W's, you can make them work in lots of different ways or if you know your situations are unique. So, yeah, these are the Aperture Amarans. What I also can say I appreciate about them is I've had these for about a year and a half, maybe two years now. And not a single LED bulb has gone out of any of them. I've packed them up and taken them tons of places on tons of different shoots. And they seem to be very durable. Now, I'm careful with them. I don't know if you'd be banging them around or if you drop them or different things. But if you're willing to be careful with these, I think they're going to last a really, really long time. And they have for me, and I didn't know. Maybe they'd last six months, nine months. They are still rocking and doing great. Other minor details I can tell you about them is um, the batteries charge when they're on here and they're plugged in. And so that's handy because you're not always having to take them off and, you know, put them into a charger. Like I said, they've got the variable light. They come with both daylight as well as whoop, 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 you can do tungsten. So you put this in here whoop, and now we've got orange light. And so it just kind of switches between, I think it's 5,500 and 3,300, but 
For most situations, it's gonna get you close enough. Obviously, you can get other ones where they have variable temperature. Depending how serious you are, you can try those out. I can just tell you I've used these in between the white and the more orange filters. I've been able to work in every situation that I've been able to run into. Again, it's not perfect. There's probably some professionals that would use something, you know, more serious, but you're gonna pay for something that's a lot more serious. But if you're just kind of getting started and starting to shoot a little bit more professional video or you just wanna take your YouTube game up a bit, this is a great option. Now I'm gonna talk about a second, even more budget option is the Yong Nuo. 600 series i'll put a link down below for all of this stuff so you can find it on amazon those actually have a few more leds instead of 528 they've got 600 they've also got these um, filters that you can swap in and out and i think they're only like 115 or 120 dollars the only thing is i haven't personally used those too much i've had two different clients where i've gotten them for like a single light setup they were just looking for something on the cheap so far so good, but I don't have the long history to say whether those will be as good or as durable as these, but they seem to be a good option as well. And so I can stand behind these, say these have been working great for me. If you're going, ooh, that's even too much for me. Personally, if I was rebuying, I'd probably try the Young Newell ones because why not? They're an extra $60 cheaper. The only thing is if you're looking for a kit with batteries and all those other things, I don't know if there's as many options. I'm gonna try and again, throw some links down below to some different setups, but Lighting makes a huge difference. Now, if you don't have any budget at all, get lamps. I've got a couple of four lamps there with a couple of bulbs, again, just helping kind of light up this side of my face, bounced off the wall. Get floor lamps, shine them in lots of different ways. The nice thing about a light like this is you can control the level of brightness. And so if you really wanna brighten up the face, depending where you are, you can crank it up or down. But being able to fine tune that is gonna help you get you know, a better picture than something like a floor lamp, or maybe you can find one that has three different light settings, but then you're just gonna have to move it back and forward and try and adjust your way around it. But lighting is really, really key. Anyway, I hope that helps. That's kind of the setup that I'm using. Three light, uh, Amaran Aperture 528s, some other options there. Any questions at all, let me know. I'd love to hear from you guys of what you're using for your light setups. If you found some hacks or some different options, drop it in the comments below. I'm Justin Rivas, thanks for watching.